Today on Judge Faith, a parking dispute turns into threats and road rage. I know where your uh, house is. I know where uh, you uh, park your red truck. I know your wife. I walk out my front door and I see him every day. If I don't see him, I see his vehicle. I'm like, that's so unsettling. I'm supposed to go home and feel safe and I don't feel safe. We had to install cameras so that like we, we could just catch anything. Like that's been our daily lives. What's funny? What's funny about that to you? Because they, they acting it out. She's not even crying. Look at her. She's acting like she's crying, but there's no tears. If you, you know? keep talking, I'm going to find you in contempt. Faith Jenkins. Her distinguished legal career began when she graduated first in her law school class. She quickly became a tough New York City prosecutor and then a preeminent legal analyst on cable news. And now she's the judge in her own courtroom. Her cases are real and her rulings are final. She is Judge Faith. Plaintiff Juan D. Velasco and his wife Lorena Cortez are suing a neighbor for damage to their motorcycle and lost wages. Manuel Cabezas says the motorcycle hit his truck and he's countersuing for lost wages. Remain seated and come to order. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Your Honor, this is case Velasco versus Cabezas. Thank you, Barbara. Mr. Velasco, you're suing the defendant for $1,588 for damages to your motorcycle and lost wages. Mr. Cabezas, you say you owe the plaintiff nothing because you did not hit his motorcycle and you're counter suing for $1,170 in lost wages. Mr. Yes, Velasco, we'll start with you. What happened? Um, so first of all, Your Honor, um, this guy and I, we live in the same neighborhood uh, and we never met before. That's not true. On April 23rd, um, I was working on my motorcycle with a friend. We were fixing um, the right hand mirror. It was a little loose, so I needed to like take care of the- uh, Where were you my, doing this? Uh, in front of my house. I was parked legally, uh, 90 across degrees Across the street on my from bike. his house. Yeah. Okay, don't across. interrupt, sir. Let me hear what he So said. I was parked um, on my motorcycle and working on it. When out of nowhere, this guy shows up with his van, pulls next to us, and you know he comes out of his van and he's saying, "Hey, don't you see that I'm trying to park there? You need to move away." So, which you know, to me was a little surprising and aggressive his tone. So I just respond, "Look, I'm parked here. I've been parked here for all morning, and I'm working on my bike right now. I don't plan to move away." So he said immediately, "I know where your uh, house is. I know where uh, you uh, park your red truck. I know your wife." And all these like statements that like out loud to someone that you've never met before, it's a little, you know, threatening and, and it's just like a little scary to me. Was your motorcycle parked directly in front of your house where you live? So my house, it was in front of the street, in, in front of my house. Across yeah, the street, across the street. Judge. Was it parked in front of someone's driveway? Yes, no. in the neighbor's driveway. Hold on a second. Oh, I'm not, I haven't asked you anything. Yeah. Okay. It was parked on legally um, at 90 degrees, that's all. Yes. So he pulls up, he wants you to move, you guys exchange words, what happens next? So I, I, as I said, I'm not planning on moving. He gets into his van and he backs up and I'm saying, hey, you're gonna hit my bike because obviously the space was really small. He was trying to park in front of a driveway. Um, and then he hits my bike when he goes forward and I just pull off my cell phone really quick and record what on happened. On the driveway. Really, really fast it happened. I said, hey, you hit my bike, you need to give me your insurance completely ignore me and he just walked away, gave me his bag and no. shot a door. Okay, and and did you call the police? Home. I said, so, I'm not gonna give you insurance. I said, oh. don't interrupt. Okay, Judge. So, um, did you call the police? So basically what happened is that I was trying to, to talk to him and he just walked away. So at that point I was obligated to just uh, call SFPD. So I called SFPD, they came to- SFPD is San Francisco, San Francisco Police okay. Department. So they they came, responded, do you have a police report? Uh, I have a collision report card. Let me see that. Yes. Okay, sir, I'll hear from you. Okay. What happened? Okay, Your Honor. <laughs> First of all, do you live on this street? I live a few uh, blocks up the street. I was working on the person's house where this happened. Okay. So my neighbor and friend, um, also my, my client, uh, she has complained to me in the past how they both switch over with the motorcycle and the big red truck. And so when the space comes available, he comes and parks his bike in the middle so nobody can get there. And then she comes with a big red truck and blocks the whole entire area. So this old person, my neighbor, my neighbor she can- How can't... many vehicles do you have? We a have uh, three vehicles. We no, have a truck more. for a business. 
We have my motorcycle, which is my main transportation because I, I go downtown a lot. It's super hard to park in San Francisco. And then we have a mini, a car. To just and the red car, Okay, and where do you keep those vehicles parked? We and park the in the street, street because there's street parking. I can't hear what he's Don't saying because you keep street. interrupting. I thought it was my time. Didn't you say it was my I'm time I'm asking to him speak? a question and he's answering okay. it. So um, basically, we need to park on the street because like everyone else in San Francisco, street parking is uh, very hard. And basically, you, if you see a spot, you park in it, and that's about it, you know? Yeah. Um, okay. That's how it is in that Okay, area. but on this particular that's, day, that's you problem. drive up, and his motorcycle is parked. Was it in front <coughs> of the, are you saying his motorcycle was in front of a driveway? Yes. Or on the street? You're and saying his in motorcycle the street, was walking in the street way. on the driveway. Because in the city in San Francisco, the houses are tied together wall to wall, so there's no space in between properties. So one little space like this is it's worth a lot of money, uh, literally. You know, like people fight for space to park, and neighbors got this silent code that they, they respect their spaces, you know? But these couple right here have a lot of cars. But you don't, you so don't, they don't the respect street. nobody's you are a visitor. spaces. You were a visitor on no, the street, I, right? No, I, I'm a contractor. I was, you were working. I was you working were visiting someone who on lives my on friend's the house. Okay. I was working on my friend's house right across the street from their house. He has a 10 foot wide sidewalk. He has I understand plenty of space. that, but it wasn't your parking space that they it were It was walking, the driveway right? of my customer. Okay, so, so you go, I have the right and a contract. See, you see his motorcycle parked yes. there. What do you? What happens? No, his motorcycle wasn't parked there. I was there, and the space became available. I was gonna pull for. I asked him to move. I have actually asked him to move in the past already. Two weeks before this happened, I told him, "Hey, man, I didn't say exactly what happened, but." because it was no need for that. But my client was complaining that he was blocking the driveway all the time and she can never get in there. And so I was about to start the job and I told him, he was already blocking me when I told him, look man, can you not please park here? Because I need to get over here with my truck I'm and sorry, I got equipment, I got tools, I got materials, I got helpers. There's trash that comes out of here. There's things that are gonna go in. Okay, so what happened? You and had so this conversation with him. And so can you please not park him? here? And so he get he go. Okay, no problem. He check his head. Okay, fine. And he went and parked across the street on his sidewalk where he has plenty of room for that. Coming up on Judge Faith. That Stop didn't talking. happen. Stop that talking. happened after after the incident. If you in keep fact, talking, was a sit guy. down. Sit down. And later. We had to install cameras so that like we we could just catch anything. Like that's been our daily lives. Juan Velasco and his wife Lorena Cortez are suing contractor Manuel Cabezas for damages, claiming he deliberately hit their motorcycle with his truck. Manuel says it was Juan who caused the damage. He owes nothing and is countersuing for lost wages. I'm asking you specifically what happened on this day. This is what's happening. Let me finish the story. The I'm getting there. This thing no, no, is, no, no, is, no, no, is, no. is an Hold ongoing, on. it's an ongoing Stop. incident. Stop. Let okay. me get you straight on something. Okay. I'm asking you a question and I want you to answer it. You're trying to tell me about everything else that's happening. I'm asking you how his motorcycle hit your truck as you allege. He tell blocked me about his motorcycle. Stop interrupting okay. me and answer my question. Yes. How are you saying his motorcycle hit your truck and damaged your his truck? His motorcycle never hit my truck. I, in fact, I got a pictures here with motorcycle when I park, and he was parked, and he doesn't park in a 40, uh, he parks in a 45 degree angle, not a 90 degree angle. Look, this is it right here. Barbara, hand me those pictures. And the damages that he's claiming that I did to him, you know, I got pictures of all his damages, and. You know, it has nothing to do with my truck. You said in your answer, sir, that his motorcycle hit your truck. I'm asking you how that happened. He didn't hit my motor, he, I'm confused. He didn't hit my, I didn't hit him. Why are you confused? All I'm asking you to do is tell the there's truth. There's a lot of things going on, the there's truth. a lot of questions happening. That didn't happen, that's his story. Exactly. That didn't happen. You got the picture right there to prove it. And this is the damages that he's claiming. Tell me that I did that with my bumper. I mean, somebody smart can no, say that this was sorry. a road a road rash that he dropped his bike on the street and then he scraped it with the sidewalk or with the, with the asphalt. Let's My the, bumper could have done let's this. Let's put up Look these photos it. on the plasma. What is this a picture of? This, do you see my, my, my truck? My I'm van sorry. hitting this motorcycle okay, so there? So that's your, that's your white van. Yes. And that is your And my bumper is black, Your Honor. Your Honor, as you can see, I'm not in the driveway. 
that's the sidewalk, and it's 45 degrees because he moved my bike when he hit it. I move your bike? You are... And there's pictures right here that I can you prove that full way. When, he, when you hit the bike. I have pictures right here that I can okay, prove Okay, next picture. Down. And this is a picture of? Of the Kuru. other side of his Kuru. motorcycle. If you allow me, I can, can point you out to photo? you. Stay where you are. Oh, huh? Okay. I can, I can point out to you where he got scratches on the same place as the opposite side where he said that I hit his motorcycle. Like, this guy's been dropping. He doesn't know how to ride this bike. He drops it everywhere. <laughs> I'm sorry. And then now he wants me to repair it for him. I've never Do you had have an pictures accident that you want to show me? Yeah. Okay, please. let me see um, those. Barbara, would you hand me his pictures? <laughs> he, got he got crashes all Wait. over the bike, and now he wants me to Stop pay for talking. all that. Because he thinks I'm a big time contractor, you know? That's not happening yep. here. Okay, what is this? I'm, I'm not asking you, I'm asking him. What that's is this his van, and that's the bumper um, which he hit my bike with. Okay, so you're saying there's damage on the bumper from where he hit your bike? Yeah, you, you can see how, how he has scratches as well. Okay, do, let's see the next picture. Yana, do you see the scratches? On, hold on. Stop talking. Can I say something about that? No. Okay, well, can we go back to the after? No. Why not? Okay, what is this a picture of? So that's a picture of the left engine of my bike and how he hit uh, Do you see the scratches right white? My bumper is black. How can actually, I do that? That, that's that actually the paint looks of my... like the paint has completely come off come the yes. motorcycle down to the metal. Yes. That's not paint. Yes. So he's saying that you hit his bike and scratched the paint completely off and that's metal. Yes, okay, but you can see those second. scratches are from the bottom up as when you drop the motorcycle, not from side to side, like if I was swiping him, like he says. You if you see, see this, oh, Stay I'm sorry. behind the podium, please. Okay, Thank if you. you see the scratches, how they go up like this, that has nothing to do with me. Okay, all right, sir. Give me one second here. I Unless I was driving a rocket, you know? Stop talking. Okay. Your Honor, um, as I was saying, uh, he wasn't uh, giving me his insurance information. I had to call the police. Of then uh, not. they were able to get his insurance. Okay, so you called the police. Yes. You asked for his insurance information. Yes. Uh, and police, what happened with that? So the police asked me what happened. They asked him what happened. They came back to me. They said, "Look, we weren't here. You need to show us something." So I showed, showed them a video that I that I got on at the moment of the collision. Okay, you have the video. Yes. Okay, I have let's a look video. at the video. Oh, I don't have the video. How am I supposed to I defend? I don't care. You see that? That Stop didn't talking. happen. Stop that talking. happened after after it's... the uh, incident. If you In keep fact, talking, was a sit guy... down. Sit down. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's play the video again. I apologize, Your Honor. That what, are we, was... what are we looking at in this video? So you're looking at, at him driving his, his truck, trying to park on that, on, on that parking spot and hitting my bike. You can see his wheels when he um, backed up and the tire motorcycle is moving. He's moving the camera, the truck is not moving. I don't see that the truck is moving in this video, but stop it right there. What I do see, though, is the kickstand is still down Thank you. on the motorcycle. You did say in your answer that he backed his motorcycle up into your truck. How would he be able to do that if the kickstand is still down? It looks like it because never Because he got off the motorcycle, put the kickstand down, and went out with the camera and took a picture. And the other guy that was working at the job site told me that he saw him moving the truck. Coming up on Judge Faith. Do you understand this is my courtroom and I run this? Yes, you are. Okay, so we don't go back but to anything unless I want to. But this person is lying, is lying and putting me over here on the stand, you know. And want me to fix his motorcycle based on a lie. If you, you know? keep talking, I'm gonna find you in contempt. Juan Velasco and his wife Lorena Cortez are suing contractor Manuel Cabezas for damages to his motorcycle. Manuel says he owes nothing. Did you ever contact the defendant's insurance company? So yes, exactly. I got the report from the police and his insurance. I contacted his insurance. Um, I filed um, an insurance claim with my own insurance, mm -hmm. um, and there was a response from um, his insurance, you know, maybe a month later. Um, what was that maybe response? A little, um, that he wasn't insured at the time of collision. Okay, step back up to the lectern. Were you insured at the time of this? Yes, incident? Your Honor. It was a lapse of insurance because I had another truck before that one. So you were not insured? Oh, yes, I was insured. I got insurance here. Okay, and so what happened when... The insurance denied the claim because I told them exactly what I'm telling you. And I told them that I didn't hit him, I didn't touch him or anything. And the insurance said, well, if you didn't hit him, it, we had just purchased the truck. I had another van. And so when you, have, when you buy a new vehicle, uh, you got 30 days uh, lapse. You said your insurance... insurance denied his claim. I want to know why you say they denied it. Because I told him, I told my insurance, 
what I just have to say to you guys mm -hmm. over here today, you know, that I didn't, I didn't hit the bike. You're right. saying that they found that he was at fault, and so that's more, why they denied thing, the claim. Please. Answer my question. Yes. All right. Um, let me hear from you. Wait, and wait, while, I got to say no, one more no. thing. Let me hear from you, and while you're talking, hand up. You have an estimate for damages for your yes, bike? Yes, I do, Your Honor. Let me have a look at that, please. I want to go back to that picture. When I don't, I'm not going back to do you understand this is my courtroom and this I run this? Insurance? Yes, you are. Okay, uh, so we don't go back but to anything unless I want to. But this person is lying, is lying and putting me over here on the stand, you know, and want me to fix his motorcycle based on a lie. If you, you know? keep talking, I'm going to find you in contempt. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll hear from you. And this oh, is man. the I'm, I'm his wife. I, I arrived at the scene when the uh, police were bringing um, the defendant back. Um, my husband told me what was going on, uh, and he was telling me that we should be concerned because he knows exactly where we live. It, it, he knows our vehicles. He knows who I am. Like I immediately went into like I, I was frightened. I'm still frightened, and you I'm can see how aggressive he is. And this I'm is what nice I, I, I oh. don't talk to her. You talk I, to me. Don't I speak to another litigant in my courtroom. I walk out my front door and I see him every day. If I don't see him, I see his vehicle. And like, that's so unsettling. I'm supposed to go home and feel safe and I don't feel safe. And we, we had to install cameras. cameras so that like we, we could just catch anything. Like that's <laughs> been our daily lives. What's funny? What's funny about that to you? Because they, they acting it out. She's not even crying. Look at her. She's acting like she's crying, but there's no tears. <laughs> Your Honor, look, you see the estimate? I'm Do you see right the now. estimate? Have yes, you seen the I have estimate? The estimate. It, I'm it's, at it now. Does it look like all these parts were damaged? Did look you at get the picture. Um, Did you get this work done on the motorcycle? Did I you haven't. actually get the work done? I haven't. I don't have the money. So, so this there's is just nothing damaged. Estimate. Yeah, I took um, the motorcycle to BMW in San Francisco. You know, I cannot tell them what to <clears> judge or not. I told them what, what happened, and they did an, eval an evaluation on, on, the, on the parts that were scratched and damaged. Okay. Also, okay. I had to pay for that estimate okay. up front. And I wouldn't be here in this court today, and uh, I wouldn't have to go to all this trouble if this person was insured properly, because then I would be dealing with insurance, and that's it. Well, he said he was insured, and the right. insurance and, denied and as his you can see, Let me see your proof his of insurance. insurance says stay, that, uh, stay behind the podium. Oh, sorry. His insurance says that um, the vehicle Hold on listed. one second. Let me see. Okay. And what do you have? Um, this document, his interest states um, that the vehicle, his vehicle, does not qualify for coverage under the terms and conditions of the policy. Okay, uh, hand that up to Barbara, please. We're going to take a brief recess. Court's adjourned. Who's lying? Judge Faith gets to the bottom of it after this. Court is back in session as Judge Faith rules. There's something to be said about someone who comes into this courtroom, looks a judge right in the face and outright lies to them. And if you lie to me, if you try to perpetrate a fraud on this court, you will be held accountable. I contacted your insurance company. Not only did they never investigate this claim, they never told you that it was the plaintiff's fault for this accident. You know why? Because you didn't have insurance at the time. Your insurance no, you had wouldn't. lapsed. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't contact my insurance company, Absolutely. and they wouldn't I say that to you. I am sure me. they wouldn't send that to you. Do I am 100% sure Are they you wouldn't say that to me? you. No, I will Do not. not speak. Do not interrupt me. Yes, because I have insurance, I said, and this insurance is not and fake. And we can me. call him right you know now, what? as a matter of fact. Get out. You're done. We are done. Okay, get fine. Out, get him out of here, Barbara. Fine. Because you I'm out of here. Me. You did not have insurance. Your insurance had lapsed. Step on out. And I believe every word only proves that, that he's a better liar, liar. And, you, and you are Goodbye, in conspiracy sir. against him. I mean, against me and on his favor. That's the only thing that he proves. Because this insurance is not a lie, and I'm not a liar, and I'm not a liar. Get all right? out of Step court. Out. I'm not a liar. Don't accuse Step. me of lying because that's insurance right Step there. Step on out. That way. I don't accept this kind of behavior in my courtroom, and I think that his behavior exhibits the kind of bully and coward he is. I think he did exactly what you said he did. I think you didn't want to move, and you were legally parked in that space, and he hit your motorcycle with his truck. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. The defendant thinks he's a tough guy, but it's... he's not a tough guy because tough guys, real men, 
don't damage someone else's property to resolve conflict. Real men don't resort to violence to resolve conflict. And real men don't come into this courtroom, look a judge in their face, exactly. and lie to them. My judgment in this case is for the plaintiff, verdict for the plaintiff, $1,288. Thank you, Anna.